Hey everyone, Techni here with no, not a keyboard review. As you all know, if you've been here for a while, we reviewed all these keyboards. I'll leave the link for them right down in the description right there. And I know I've been talking a lot and reviewing a lot of keyboards here lately, but honestly, that's kind of just been, I've been really kind of hooked on it lately, kind of getting the feel of different keyboards, dabbling with them, kind of experimenting with like keycaps and other stuff like that. You know, I promise we got other stuff to review, headsets and mice and stuff. But again, this has kind of really just been on my mind right now. And what we're gonna talk about here is actually O-rings. And do you need them or are they beneficial? So real quick here about these O-rings. I got these off Amazon, 120 pieces right in here. And I believe they were right at seven bucks. So not a big investment by any means. And I have never used O-rings before. So I mean, I've read up on them and everything, but I've never used them. So I was here curious about, you know, what they do and how they sound and everything. And I wanted to kind of share this adventure or test with you guys as well. And that's why I have three different boards out here. All boards, fantastic, very great boards here. Over here, we have the Durgod Hage Cherry MX Red. Right over here, we have the Ducky One Too Many, again, Cherry MX Red. And over here, we have the newly released Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition using the Razer Optical Red Switches. All right, so first off, what I'd like to kind of start off here is just talking about these O-rings with the Ducky One Too Many. I know this is a really popular board, one of my favorite steel. I just, I just love it. I love the way it sounds and the way it feels. The build and the keycaps and everything just complement it perfectly. And I tested the uh, O-rings on it, which I'm not going to do right here, because honestly, I just don't recommend it. And that's kind of where I want to start off right here. No, I don't think these O-rings are meant for every single keyboard. If you like the feel or the sound of your keyboard right there, no, don't get them. Because again, the Ducky One Too Many, just that's the main thing I love about the Ducky One Too Many is the sound and the feel about it. That goes along also with the Ant Pro 2. It's got a nice sound and a nice, nice feel to it, you know what I mean? So no, as far as those kind of boards and some other boards out there, I wouldn't recommend these O-rings. But two boards I really like them on. Again, Durgot Hades, and if y'all watch the review on the Razer Huntsman TE over here, as you can tell right now, this thing is stinking loud. I mean, I honestly couldn't even use this thing at night. My son's room is right next to my room right here, and I couldn't use this thing at night. It was so stinking loud. But I honestly love this Huntsman TE right here. I mean, it is just fantastic. The actuation with those linear optical switches right there is just so quick and so fast, and it really gives you that competitive edge right there and I wanted to use it. And talking about the key presses and the switches with the actuation point and everything, with these O-rings, as you know, the key press goes all the way down on either the Cherry MX Red or these Linear Optical. Of course, the Linear Optical have a shorter key press to actuate than the Cherry MX Red. Now, I'm not too sure how well the camera will pick this up, but again, talking about actuation and everything, so the Razer Huntsman actuation is kind of like just right there that little tiny press. As far as the Cherry MX Red, you gotta go down quite far, like all the way down to here. Now again, that's not trash talking any switch by any means or trying to show off the Razer switch. Again, I'm just kind of showing you the actuation point. Bam, right here on the Razer and right over here on the Cherry MX Red. So again, the Cherry MX Red has to go down quite a bit more. So again, that's not me trash talking one switch or the other, any other switch out there. Yes, the Razer has that shorter actuation than the Cherry MX Red. Cherry MX Red is probably my favorite switch. But again, I just kind of want to show you the difference and how these O-rings are gonna benefit that. So talking one benefit real quick, as you see, we got our keycaps off right here. You see that stem right down there? And what that does is like whenever you press it down, bam, then your switch bottoms out right here, right over the razor switch or the Cherry MX, bam, and then it bottoms out right around the frame right there. So just think about it. If we got our O-rings up around the stem of the keycap there, it's gonna add a very mild little bit right there, right? But our keycap is gonna bottom out a lot sooner. And that O-ring is what's gonna be hitting the frame right there rather than the plastic that you can see on the keycap. All right, so I'm not sure if that made any sense right there, but let me show you right here. This one I have O-rings on, and this one I do not as far as switches. So bam, we'll press down the O-ring one, and then we're going to press down the one without. So now it's very hard to see, but do you see that very mild difference right there? How far this switch is going down rather than that one right there. So again, talking about the benefit and a competitive edge right there, all of us, we don't always press our switch down all the way. Again, this switch right here just takes this much to actuate. So no, you don't have to press it all the way down. It's right there. But a lot of times, at least me at least, I always press my switches all the way down. So you have less travel distance with the O-ring rather than the one without the O-ring. If you can see that little difference right there, again, it looks so mild and so minor, but you really, really feel the difference. So again, that's the number one benefit. 
less travel distance right there. And again, it really is beneficial on as far as these optical switches, having that very, very short actuation point. And again, it's quite beneficial with the Cherry MX Reds as well. Now, what's a little weirder typing on the Cherry MX Reds? Because again, I was so used to that far travel distance. Whenever I'm typing, I'm always smashing all of my keys all the way down, you know what I mean? And having that little shorter distance right there, it felt a little weird at first, to be honest with you. But after a while of testing it, I got really used to it. And again, going back to the Razer with the optical switches here, I almost can't use it without them. And again, that's off just one of these little teeny tiny O-rings slapped right around the stem of our keycap right there. And then of course it pushes all the way down once you get it on there. Now you can use one or two of these on there. Actually on the Razer Huntsman over here, I am using two as you can see. So again, it's up to you if you want to use like one or two. I mean, you can test around and play with them a little bit. Bam, pop your keycap after a while and you'll kind of see if they start nesting into each other. If I try to use in three, which I did test, they started again nesting in each other. It's kind of lopsided and you'll be able to feel that difference. But again, using just two across, again, Cherry MX or these Razer switches, it was perfect fine and honestly on this board over here I preferred using two all right so the other benefit here is that sound and that's why a lot of us are looking at these o-rings honestly it was why I started to look at them at first as well is that sound again going back to the razor board here this thing is stinking loud and I needed something to just quiet it down a little bit. I love the competitive edge with it and I love the feel and the look of it and everything but the sound was just an absolute no-go Yeah, this is gonna get boring. Oh my goodness, that is a job. All right, so what I did here, I covered pretty much the entire board on the Razer Huntsman TE right here, and I went two O-rings per key. I did not do my function keys or my shortcuts right over here, because I'm gonna have to barely press them anyways. Uh, maybe I will do them just so it feels balanced across the whole thing. But anyways, as of right now, I just did that. So then I can also give us a sound test with these compared with those right there. As far as on the Dirt God Hades over here, by the time I was done with that, I didn't feel like putting on any more O-rings. So what I did on the Hades over here is I just did our WASD and our space bar. So then again, I'll be able to give you that uh, triple walk across sound test compared to the other basics as well on a Cherry MX Reds. All right, so as far as the Razer Huntsman TE, again, I got two O-rings on every key right here in our basic keys. Over here, I have none. So as far as the sound test, So the one thing I really want you to focus on again was that walk across right here. So let's go on and get our, right? I mean, wow, how about that when you're hearing that three walk across right there on the Razer Huntsman TE, kind of like if you're gaming on a thing, WASD a whole lot, that's what you're gonna be kind of getting across it, right? And it makes a massive improvement on this keyboard right here. All right, so now with the Durgod Hades with Cherry MX red switches here. Again, I just did WASD and the spacebar, no other ones, because my fingers start hurting and it just got boring after a while. So anyways, as far as our sound test here, again, Cherry MX red switches, I mean, wow, come on. That is amazing on these Cherry MX Reds. What a sound. All right, so as far as the sound on both boards right here, I mean, it makes a massive difference. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up here, but it's really, really noticeable, especially again with these optical switches. And if you own this board right here, I highly, highly recommend you get some O-rings, double them up on here, cause you're gonna love it. Now, as far as on the Cherry MX Reds right over here, it is very, very nice as well. Cherry MX Reds really aren't that loud by any means. It's really preventing that keycap bottoming out right on the switch right there. And it just gives it a nice, very smooth, just very solid sound. And on top of that sound, whenever you're pressing every keycap on either board right here, it just feels fantastic. It's not like this quick bottom out and just your fingers smashing into the bottom right there. It's almost like a little cushion right there and it feels fantastic. No, it's not smooshy like a membrane by any means. I mean, when it hits, it hits right there, you know what I mean? But it's not this quick, just 
bam, crashing right down on the board right there. It feels fantastic. It's almost like, look at it this way, like say you got this really nice pair of shoes and you put in this nice memory foam or gel a uh, Dr. Scholl's foot cushion type thing, you know what I mean? So I mean, as far as these O-rings right here, I mean, this sounds like a no brainer, right? Like let's go on and get them right now. And I do highly recommend them, again, especially on this Razor Keeper with optical switches. Honestly, with any optical switches, we've done a lot of reviews on Gatoron optical switches. And again, with that lower actuation point right there, this is gonna give you that advantage. Cause again, if you're like me and you press your key all the way down all the time, it's gonna reduce that travel distance right there for you. But again, the O-rings might not be for everybody. Some people might love that really, really loud keyboard sound, you know? Again, me with the family, people that sleep at night when I'm usually gaming, right? I can't have all the sound in the background. So this dampening up a little bit really helps out and is beneficial for me. Again, I highly, highly recommend them. They're super cheap. Yeah, you can get thicker ones, different color ones out there and everything costs a little bit more, come with some other accessories, but straight out the bag here, seven bucks, I mean, sheesh, you can't go wrong with these things. But hey, let me know down in the comments right there if you use O-rings on your keyboards or if you've used them before and what you think about them. Again, I love them, but I'd really like to hear what you guys think about them. And again, I know I keep on saying it, if you use this new Razer Huntsman TE with these optical switches, please, please try it with some O-rings right here. Super cheap, just double them up on there. You're gonna love the feel and the benefits you get out of it. And as far as that sound, you're really gonna love it. But hey, thank you so much for watching this one. I hope I was able to help you out a little bit and kind of just uh, answered a few questions as far as O-rings here. Again, this was my first time as well. So I thought it was pretty fun kind of seeing the benefit and the features we get with these guys. But hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and watch this one. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.